some trig equations to solve here. First up, 2 tan x plus 1 equals 4. Well, let's minus 1 to give 2 tan x equals 3. And then tan x equals 3 over 2. Before I do any inverse tan, I'm going to just sketch my graph for uh, y equals tan x. I'm not actually interested in the negative, but I always put that in myself. Okay, 90 is where the asymptote lies. And then the graph repeats every 180. So this is 270, this is 180. And we could even draw the last little bit in here, 360. Okay, I like to use graphs to solve these equations. You might use cast diagrams, but I'm going with the graph. I'm not even going to talk about cast diagrams. Right, 3 over 2, because I can look at this and I can see there's two solutions and I can use the symmetry of the graph to get them. So first up, x is going to be inverse tan of 3 over 2. Well, this is a function, or you can just write 3 divided by 2. And we get 56.309. And that is going to be this first solution here. Okay, you can see it's less than 90. So to get this one, just use the symmetry of the graph and add on 180. And I can actually add on 200 and minus 20, so it's going to be 236.309. Finally, round to three significant figures, so 56.3 degrees or 236 degrees. Brilliant. Right, next part, we've got a, uh, a quadratic essentially involving cos squared. But the thing is, we've got a sine x in there as well. Now we can't get rid of that sine x, but what we can do is use a trig identity and replace the cos squared by 1 minus sine squared. Here I'm using the identity sine squared x plus cos, cos squared x is always identical to 1. This means for any value of x. So I can just rearrange it to make cos squared equal to 1 minus sine squared. Expand that out. And then as for any quadratic, essentially, get it all um, on one side and set it equal to 0. So I will minus the, sorry, add 2 sine squared x to both sides. And then minus 2. So there's different, um, different things you can do at this point. You might do a substitution. u equals sine x to get 2u squared plus 5u minus 3 equals 0. Solve for u. Put it back in terms of sine x. You might use the quadratic formula. Um, or you might just factorize it directly in terms of sine x, which is what I'm going to do. Because it, it's just good practice, really. And the, you know, check with your calculator by all means. But if it's going to factorize, it's got to be a 2 and a 1 here to get the 2 sine squared x. And then for the minus 3, but we need a plus 5, I can sense I'm going to, well, I have to use 3 and 1. So it's got to be 3 over here, because then I'll get 6 sine x. And then a 1 here to get sine x. And then if I make this negative, this will become negative. And that'll be positive, and I'll get my 5 sine x. So sine x equals a half. Or minus 3. Let me just show you quickly. So, you know, it's because it is worth just checking. So it's under, uh, where's it gone? Here we go. Equation, polynomial, degree 2. It doesn't matter that it's um, sine x. Let's just treat it as a quadratic because we're just essentially what we're doing at the moment. So 2, 5, and minus 3. And then we get a half and minus 3. So you can get your solutions from that instead. You could even put it back in the factorized form. Um, all right, this one here is problematic. We need to reject it because sine cannot be as low as minus 3. Now seems a good time to draw a graph of sine. Between 0 and 360, it's going to look like this. 
here's the thing the highest value is one and the high the smaller the lowest value is minus one so we're just trying to solve sine x is equal to a half and i can do inverse sine if you do that you're going to get 30 degrees actually this is an exact value that's worth just knowing i would say that sine 30 is a half Otherwise, we do inverse sine of 0 0.5, 30. Or this one here, because of the symmetry of the curve, this distance is the same as this distance. And this point here is 180. So it's going to be 180 minus 30 to get the other value, which gives 150 degrees. A couple of nice trick questions. Well done.